G'day everyone, this is Alex from Escape Domain, here to show you the grass accessory kit that you can buy uh, in, that doesn't come with the cool cabanas, but you can buy as an accessory um, aftermarket. This allows you to, or gives you better um, sticking power in the soil, as opposed to what the original kit that comes with the, the cool cabanas is more for your beach kind of environments. So this is what it looks like, it comes in a nice little useful pouch, and We'll have a look inside. I've seemed to have chosen a nice uh, overcast day. It just started out really sunny and now it's come overcast and windy. So we're just gonna have to deal with it. Um, but uh, it's a good test of the structure. So come on in, let's have a look at what you actually get in the grass kit. All right, so inside we have some tent pegs and uh, just your standard 10 pegs they are nice quite nice and sharp and then you have uh, a modified pole uh, the the spike pole that originally came with the cool cabanas is quite long looks like this so that that's the original one and that's the one that comes in the grass accessory kit so significantly shorter just because you don't want to have to hammer that one in all the way in soil because obviously you're not going to get as far as you would with sand so you just don't need that length hence why they have the grass accessory kit now i'll just point out that the it does come normally with a cap i've lost the cap now because i think the glue that was holding the cap on has has come off it's probably not a pretty unusual thing for cool cabanas um but i'll i'll update you on on how i go with getting that back uh yeah we'll just figure it out you can still hit it in uh, the cap just makes it nice and flat at the top. Okay, so uh, now let's have a look at how the whole thing goes up. All right, so here we are ready to go. So I've got the, the grass accessory kit spike pole here, ready to go. We just knock that one in. Now you wanna make sure that's quite firm. Um, that, that is your own, that is the strongest part of the structure. So you re the, the strongest foundation point. So you really want to make sure that's firmly lodged into the soil. There's still a bit of wiggle room in there. It's feeling good. All right, so now that that's firmly in, we need to just slide the pole over the top. Easy as that. Now we just grab the extra shelter. And it just slides on the top of that pole. Just like the beach version. Now, the way I've found this the easiest to do the corners is do one at a time. So you got your tent pegs. Now I'm gonna pull out this one, this limb. So as I'm pulling it out, I can just push up on that joist and boom, we're out. Now, uh, you'll notice at the end of the pouches where you normally would put the sand, you just have a loop. You throw your tent peg through the loop and we just hit that one into the ground. And notice just like a tent, just have it at an angle to, to the direction of the of the arm of the uh, canopy. So that's just like any tent. All right, so that's nice and secure now. That's not going anywhere. Now the wind picks up. Now I like to go to the opposite side. And just pull that out. Same again. Hang 
seven. Do the same with that side. And we're just hitting this peg in. Good work for keeping up, cameraman. Not making this easy for you. All right, and then we just gonna finish it off at the last one. Now you can see it's, it is, as I said at the start, a pretty windy day. And so that's why the structure's moving around a bit, but it's holding up well. Now those pegs aren't going anywhere, and there you have it. A nicely set up structure, nice and strong, and uh, supported by the arms. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching and uh, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.